Hi, welcome. This is Gigi, and this is a weekly tarot reading for my Pisces. Hi, Pisces. How are you? You know I miss you. It's been a while. I hope you are well. I also like to welcome all my new subscribers to my channels. Thank you, guys. Thank you for helping me grow my channel. Thank you for all your comments. I'm very humbled by you. Thank you for those who've been with me for a while. I just want to say general, okay? General. That's what I'm going to say. Okay, so let's see what the message is for you, my Pisces. This is a timeless reading. Eight of Pentacles. The Fool in a Reverse. Nine of Pentacles. Seven of Rods in a Reverse. Three of Rods in a Reverse. Six of Cups. Ooh, interesting. All right. You're going back to something quick, I find. You're going back to some endeavor where you know that you'll be able to make some, a lot of money. Okay, you're looking to increase your finances. Eight of Pentacles, you want to put the work. You're ready. You want to, you want to have some money now, okay? Um, well, with the Seven of Rods in a reverse, there's something that didn't really, because of Rods, Seven of Rods in this position, Seven of Wands or Seven of Rods, uh, it's about, you know, difficulties defending oneself or, or someone, okay? It's in the reverse, so uh, you stop defending something or defending something. You just you just give up on something. There's a project that you just no longer want to hear about. You don't want to see. You just, there's a project, a situation you're not putting effort in. You're no longer, like, I think maybe you tried. You feel you tried. You feel you worked hard enough on that. It could be a relationship. It could be someone literally, all right, where you're like, all right, so this is not success. This right is really difficult. You try to uh, talk to someone, you know, uh, get to know someone. Or it could be at work. Maybe at work you try to get along with your boss. You try to get along with people around you, your neighbor. At some situation, you're just no longer investing. In, in, instead, you're very optimistic. Because you're investing into a project where you're going to have to go by yourself, where you could just, you, you're going to be able to bring results on your own. But the fool here is in a reverse. So there's going to be, there's going to be an option for you. Okay. Uh, you not, you don't have to start from the beginning for something. There's a, there's something where I'm not sure what that is. You already have uh, people, clients that are willing to pay for your services that have been paying for them, you might increase your services. That could be also telling you to increase your services just because eight of pentacles goes straight to the nine of pentacles. I mean, with the there's something that's going to allow you to maybe get a win here on some other areas, okay? Once you just no longer investing, not that you're investing. I mean, you're investing in yourself. You could be investing in your health. You could be investing in your health and you're going to be looking amazing if that's the case, all right? You could be just deciding to really focus on some activities, but there's something that's may not, you know, maybe you want to uh, run and you're like, no, I can't run now because there's no sun or I'm waking up, whatever. There is, that could be different option for you to do something, but know that it's going to bring you uh, a result here. Okay. Um, and increase in your confidence because you'll be, uh, it has to be connected to some material results. That's what I see, all right? But material, sometimes it's time, like you investing in a diet, okay? Maybe uh, you're focusing on a new diet, but really it's the first time, or you're just going to try a different way to manifest something. Maybe you'll be working on a vision board or some other things, and let me tell you, it's going to manifest really big. Now we have the three of rods here, looking at the seven of rods. Both of those are in a reverse, okay? So, um, hmm. There is uh, some type of obstacle, difficulties. You're still holding on to something from the past. Someone is trying to... There could be a reconciliation. It's in a reverse, Six of Cups, but I kind of feel, depending on how you look, if you look really good, because I see you looking great, looking forward, you know, in, in the next few months, like I'm hearing May, where you're going to be... It's going to be your season. You're going to be attracting people. But this, let me continue here. Nine of Cups is in a reverse. 
the year of fence and a death card. Ooh, someone is holding on to you. You might be holding on to someone, my Pisces. Okay. Three of rods in a reverse, right? There's some obstacles and try to really start, move on from a situation. It could be like some conflict, something, some, some past bad deals, bad arrangement. That's just like, it's still in the back of your head, but it's, it could be like the energy is still present here. Six of cups. There's definitely something that you want to put behind with the death card or sometimes something that you have to put behind Pisces. You might have to do it. You might have because the yellow fan is coming out. It's telling you with this energy here. It says it's a safe thing to do. It would be safe. Like there's like a safety thing. I feel like the ideal. All right. You know, for you to impose uh, respect in the situation going forward, you have to end something or because I, I see the death card is death card in a reverse. Oh boy. Because, you know, this card is always about transitions and changes. But in a reverse, it's like, you know, it's blocked. That transition where you should be working towards yourself, your business, making your money. It's kind of blocked right now. All right. Is this a stagnation? You're resisting changes. Death card is in a reverse. It's unable to go forward. Like unable to put the past behind. Maybe there's someone who can't just let go of something that is kind of suffering, that brings some pain and suffering. Or maybe it's that has to do with a past relationship could be a Scorpio. It doesn't have to be, but the Six of Cups is in a reverse or definitely a lover here. All right. It says that's the right thing to do is the beginning. The fool is in a reverse, but like that, that situation, that event, that country, that place, that house, whatever that is, it's the fool, right? It's, it's a wild card. We don't know what that is. It's the beginning. All right. You absolutely need it in your life, Pisces, more than anything, because Jupiter is going to come. But you're still dealing with a lot of 12 house thing ending. It's kind of hard. But the year offense says here, and it's coming very strong, okay? It says, now the ideal, okay, for you, your ideal life does not involve that you're holding on to. That's what it says. All right? And the death card says also in a reverse is you're resisting change. Someone is resisting change. Someone is having an issue, maybe letting go of a marriage. I mean, it's not easy. I can understand that. Not a cups is in, uh, not a cups is in a reverse. So there's something is not is not hopeful. It's not a wish fulfilled. Maybe there's someone. Whatever you're doing for work with the eight of pentacles is not what someone wish. Maybe a parent, a year of friend, Maybe like as per moral law, you're still attached to that. It's tough. It's hard for you to remove you from this guilt. And if that's the case, Pisces, I really recommend you to do that because you're an agent of change. All right. You're here to change things up. Your ruler is here. It hasn't been in this house for 200, over 200 years is ready now. You can't let that go. You have deep, deep inside. You're receiving deep inside. The Yerophant is here. All right. There's some protective energy, right? It's like someone of experience a guide, a consultant, someone at, at, at a high place, someone who has compassion for you. But the most important thing is a protection. Okay. It's helping you in speaking things clearly in nature and say, okay, the most high, this is what I've been going through. I made a mistake or this is what that person did to me or this is what it's hard for me to let go. That person made a mistake and what's the best in this situation like a protective energy and the death card is here also but you still have there's someone who has you in the back of their mind pisces okay six of cups is a twin flames you know pisces when we know astrology we know that you're you are the last sign of the 
entire zodiac bell. So you represent ending, right? Because it's the 12, number 12. All right. But the thing is, with your position, ending, having your ruler means there's something that you have to let go, that you have to give away, that you have to sacrifice. Because that's what the 12 house means, a release, a sacrifice, all right? It's, it's not easy, but we all have the 12 house placement in our life. All of us have a 12 house before we go to our first house. You're about to begin something big. You know what that is. You could bury uh well bounce from any situation but there's something where it's hard there's a twin flame someone that is really destined for you you know it from your core it's not it's just the timing here something about timing with the death card here maybe it's the time is is not yet there it's close though because the hierophant is here Four of swords in the reverse, three of cups, the tower. Okay, so here, um, this energy is really, is, is for me, it's back to work. It's time to go back to work, all right? Um, really, you had enough time for yourself maybe enough time resting it says go back to work and it's looking at the eight of pentacles like you have a lot of things to do all right and money it has to do with whatever you find valuable in your life okay it says it's time to work at it now okay because of uh this energy of um giving up okay uh sensing a defeat and it's not a defeat it's really an understanding because you have a you know this this could literally mean that your guardian angel you have a real chance to connect to it to connect to that protector because most pisces have a guardian angel that's the 12th house it's it's the ancient ruler is jupiter all right so there's something you there's like a deep inside you're getting so it's really knowing even it's hard um let me know how this resonate with you because you know you wanting to go forward and really work in the future and success but there's still something where you know you, you you there's a deeper knowing it has to do with a lover six of cups in a reverse maybe a divine feminine a divine masculine it's looking at the tower here okay so there's definitely um some type of explosive uh energy okay as you know it's something that is risky okay it will be risky to re-trigger something with someone that could prevent you to go forward and do the changes that you need to do because the, the death card is in a reverse it could bring you some type of uh unexpected event that may not be favorable for your growth here with the eight of pentacles okay and the yara friend says it's that it's telling you here it's it's still it's actually really recommending you strongly that's someone who really wants the best for you it could be a friend it could be taurus which is your third house a friend who really truly loves you who has good attention a guide here all right is is around you a, a spiritual teacher someone of experience okay all right someone at, at a high place it's looking at you it's help it could help you too it's there to help you to unlock the next stage because the 12th house we is a place that we could stay there for some time. It represents also time, right? Because it's, you know, your uh, new ruler, Neptune, takes over 200 years to go back to his home place, his house. So, but it's time. There's something, a big dream that's going to happen, a huge, huge dream. Three of Cups here. You have joy. It's going to make you happy. You know, it's going to make you very... Uh, um, fulfilled. Because your health looks great, your skin looks great, you're, uh, you're really in a good position, you're attracting positive, protective energy, all right? So there, But there's still Six of Cups, it's still about something from the past, something that happened, maybe you're holding something uh, that happened to you in the past, you're holding on to it, something that was uh, disturbing, okay? 
um, and it's asking to change or some healing that needs to happen here with the death card in this position in a reverse you're resisting changes okay so you want to go forward but i feel like some people may not be able to really put the past behind so just ask for help help is around here so we don't want to create additional suffering and pain let me end this reading here my beautiful pisces let me know how this resonated with you please i need to hear from you don't forget to subscribe to my channel before you leave like and share the video until next time see you lots of kisses i love you